Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. I'm going to talk to you today about how to make a showy flower arrangement. Now, first of all, I have to tell you, I am a huge fan of Mackenzie Child stuff. <laughs> I love Mackenzie Childs. This is one of their cookie jars. I even did this island in the style of Mackenzie Childs. And also, I did a grandfather clock in that style that you can scroll through these videos and find. But today I want to talk to you about a flower pot that I did that way and how to fill it. I found this flower pot, this little tiny thing really, in a thrift shop and then I painted it to look like Mackenzie Child's style. Then I got artificial flowers to put in it. You could do the same with real ones, but I wanted this look to be kind of consistently maintained. So what you do when you arrange flowers, the first thing is get more than you think you need. If you're purchasing silk flowers, don't take the tags off because then you can return them if you really do have too many. But it's better to be full than skimpy. The next rule is things that grow together, go together. So don't mix tropicals with a deserty thing. You know, make it look like if you're doing English garden flowers, stick with those English garden flowers. These are mostly roses with some peonies and some other little blooms. The next rule is don't just have flowers that are all one size. Get big ones, get buds, get spiky long ones, get teensy things with big, mix it up. And then don't be afraid of color. I've got deep, dark, almost red, it's such a dark pink. And then I've got peach, and then purple, and pink, and white. You want to mix just like nature does. The more color in a big arrangement, the prettier it's going to look. Not that you can't do something monochromatic and have that have a lot of impact too, but don't be afraid because you know what? You can always pull it out if you don't like it. Now to arrange it in the pot, first you get some a big chunk, a brick of florist foam, and stuff it in there. You can glue it in or tape it in if you want, but if you stuff it in, you're pretty good. Now you'll see a lot of professionals will take a stem, dip it in hot glue, and then stick it in the foam. Don't do that unless you really know for sure it's where you want it because it's never coming out if you do it that way. And once you do it, you might say, that's awfully compact. I kind of want to loosen those stems and give it a little breath of air and bring them out. So you want to have some flexibility and not glue everything into place. Just, you know, fool with it, play with it. Don't hurry, take your time, stand back, look at it from different angles, and of course consider where it's going to be sitting. In this case, this has a very front view because it's sitting on a piece of furniture with a mirror right here. No one's ever going to see the back of it. So even though I do have some blooms back here, it's mostly to be seen from there. And the last tip I want to give you is let things hang down. You do this with real plants outside in a pot. You want something tall, something medium, and something dripping down and flowing over the sides. It's just prettier. I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. Hey, visit my website, J-O-N-I Hilton.com, and we'll see you next time.